All right, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak. All right, first start off by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Kakadash, the one said, Apostle Elder's great millstone, teacher, we will know, overseer, tabernacle of David. Shalom to the hopeful elect that do not delay and has given, has given it their diligence to make their calling sure across four corners of the earth. And shalom to the angels of witnesses day, and shalom to the few to say, I waffle you, sister, that's just the truth and our sincerity. I just want to touch on um, the spirit basically has us believing in this truth. Okay, people may ask. People may always ask, like, when they, once they see you reading all the time, see you studying all the time, once they see what you uh talking about all the time, once they see what you posting or whatever, they always ask, man, what what made you get into this thing or whatever? Because they don't know what to call it, you know? They don't know what to call it. They don't know what to call it the truth. You know, they don't, they don't know what to call it the light, the spirit, you know? They don't know. So they they, they ask, what made you get it? Like, what what was it, you know? And all you could truly, ultimately, it was, it's a, the spirit has us believing. Truly, it's the, that's what that's. They, but they can't get it. It's like, damn, man. I think you, all you can, all you can, all you can uh, tell them is how you came across the a video, how you came across a brother that put you onto the truth. You know, uh, that gave basically that planted the seed. That's all you can go into with them because they can't. They ain't gonna get it. They can't get it if you say the spirit had you believe it. Cause that's what it truly. That's what it truly is, man. Yahweh Bashmi Asha ordained us from the beginning. You know, that's why the scripture right here never gets old. John chapter fifteen verse sixteen. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye shall go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain. Okay. So like I finish the scripture before I go into it. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye shall go and bring forth fruit. Bring forth what, man? When you fall into the fruit, fruit in the scriptures, man, it, it refers to righteous labors. Okay. We've got, we must plant a seed through our works, man. Through teaching. Okay. We must teach and push this truth and push the gospel and bring forth fruit, okay? More righteous labors and pray for the righteous labors as it says in Matthew. I want to say Matthew chapter 9 verse 38. And it says that your fruit shall remain and that the fruit remains, you know? That they, that they hold fast to the truth, hold fast to the doctrine, okay? Hold fast to the order in this thing, you know? Because that's what people, that's, what, that's the main thing people bug out on, man. Order. They hate the order, man, Okay? They can't, they can't uh, submit unto the apostles and elders. They can't submit unto the order, okay, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Shah. It says that so wherever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you, okay? So, yeah. And then going to that chosen, uh, in the Greek, okay, I know it says uh Matthew 22 and 14. I want to say he clicked those. Okay, but it says to pick out, choose. So Yahweh Shah chose us. Okay. Mainly it says, uh, look at uh C definition. It says, of of God choosing whom he chose fit to receive his favors and separated from the rest of the mankind to be peculiarly his own and to be attended continually by his gracious oversight. Mm. So look at look at that. That gracious oversight is with us. Is with is with his uh with his men. That's putting forth his works, man. That's having the faith. We we're special. We're special. It's our Israel is already a special people, but the elect is is really special, man. He cared for his elect, as he says in Wisdom chapter uh Wisdom of Solomon chapter three verse nine. Okay, he separated us from the rest of mankind. Okay, the spirit has us believing. That's what it is. That's what it's all about, man. And the spirit is real. <laughs> the spirit is real, man. Isaiah chapter uh chapter eleven verse two, it says, "In the spirit of the Lord, and the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and the understanding, the spirit of counsel and the might, and the spirit of knowledge and the fear of Yahweh." Okay, that's that's that Holy Spirit, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, and ultimately you got to start with the fear of Yahweh. Verse three. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the of, of the Lord. Okay, you when you when we come when we got when we got this truth when we heard this truth the Spirit had us believing because how we know it was the Spirit we did not have to read 200, 300 books to compare and contrast the scriptures with this book and that book. Man, we knew this was it. We was like, yeah, this is it. We knew and same with same with the uh, congregation of Great Millstone. We knew, hey, these are the men. These they have the Spirit. The Spirit bear witness. Okay, we had that discernment. You got to say the water y'all by Shmuel for that discernment, man. Call Halayim, man. All right, he said he shall make him a quick understanding. It's, it's quick, man. He, the spirit moves, man. The spirit does what it does. It doesn't take uh, five months for you for the to, for the spirit to dwell in you. You know, no, it's gonna hit right then and there. 
You know, it ain't going to delay, you know. You may try to fight against it with your own will. And then Yahweh Bashmi Al-Shah may put you through some shit to bring you to that lower state for you to recognize where where the light is, you know. He may do, he may do that. He may, I, mean, I know some brothers that he did like that, okay. Verse 3, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, okay. I'm staying in the book Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 12. Twenty and twenty one, come. Isaiah chapter thirty verse twenty, and thou, Yahweh will give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, cause we gonna go through it. We gonna go through here. We gonna go through sufferings for Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. Okay, that's his part of the spirit. That's what comes with the walk. You know, it says, "Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers." Okay, thine eyes. That's how we got this truth, man. The people teaching and pushing this gospel, pushing the truth according to the scriptures. Okay, that's how, and that's how, then that's how you're gonna bear fruit, as we just brought out with John chapter 15, verse 16. That's how you're gonna bring more fruit, man. All right, verse, verse 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When ye, when ye hear, when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Because when you heard this word, you was like, Yep, this is it, man. This is it right here. This is it. This, this is it. This is the truth. You know, and when, and when people argue, and that's the thing, too. The, these demons out here, when they coming against the truth, arguing for it, they trying to argue with you for an hour, two hours, trying to validate their truth. They know this is the truth. Their spirit knows the truth, okay? But they too carnal to get it. You know, they're not spiritual. And it's not meant for them to get it. They wasn't chosen by Yahweh Bashmi al Shah. You know, they wasn't called by Yahweh Bashmi al Shah because we're trying to be chosen. We're trying to be elected. We're trying to be part of that election, that by Kai okay? Okay? we we'll go to the uh, book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 36. Okay. Verse 27. He put the spirit within us. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 27. And I will put my spirit within you. It cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Okay. He put the spirit in us. Okay. To want us to, to go study. To find out more about the knowledge. To go find the men of the Lord. To learn more and more and more. Okay? For he put the spirit in us to push this to, to push the truth. For so he put the spirit in us to do every video we do. To put put forth diligence. To seek the Hebrew, seek the uh to seek the history, you know. Are giving lots, man. Verse 28, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your father, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Okay? Now that's going to something else, but hey, he gave um but we are going to dwell back in the land of Jerusalem, okay? Our, our forefathers' land, man. And we are his people, and he, he is our power, okay? People, people don't acknowledge that either, man. We, he's only for us. People fail to realize that. But that's that stumbling block, man. All right? This is Jeremiah chapter 24. Just to touch on that, just a precept with it. Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 7. And I will give them a heart to know me that I am Yahweh, and they shall be my people, and I will be their and I'll be their power, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. See, he gave that's a spirit. He gave us a heart to know him, man. Okay? Because we haven't always known him. That's why I say we, we, we return to him to a whole heart. A whole heart. And that's part of being sincere. Because you go into the word sincere, it goes to being pure and whole. You know, you gotta be truly sincere, man. You gotta be sincere in this thing. You know, you want to you, you want to be pure, not unmixed. You don't want to be lukewarm, you know, because he's going to spit you out of his mouth. As the scriptures say, Revelation chapter, uh, I want to say three and 15 through 18. OK. It's all hey, the spirit is real, man. And you got to say the water. How about you? <laughs> you know, it says this is first Corinthians chapter three, verse seven. So then neither is he that plant of anything, neither he that water, but the most high, the most high that give the increase. See, that's Yah it's Yah it's all Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. He the one that got us in this position we in today. In believing, you know? And he got you and he got you unbelievers in the position y'all in. Cause he block, he gave you that stumbling block that you just can't get it. It's not for you. It will never be for you, you know, until you come back to the kingdom that we that is gonna be on earth. Verse 8. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. So we gotta prove our own works in his in his in his walk, in his truth. We prove our own works, man. Okay? You got to do your own diligence. 
You can't be a copycat in this truth. You got to do what's best for you. Okay, you got to work out your own salvation, as the scriptures say. Verse 9, for we are laborers together with, with the Most High. Ye are, we ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. Okay, because the, the temple dwell within us. You know, it's, it's, he doesn't dwell with the temple with hands. Okay? It's all, it's, it, the, the temple dwells with us, man. Okay? It started, the kingdom was within us, as it says in Luke chapter 17, verse 21. All right? Verse 10, according to the grace of the Most High, which is given to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. Okay? <laughs> All right, that's all. I think that's all I wanted from that uh scripture. All right, this is uh Second Ezra chapter thirteen verse fifty four. Um, yeah. All right, the Second Ezra chapter thirteen verse fifty four. For thou hast forsaken thy own way and applied thy diligence unto unto my law and sought it. See that we we forsaken our own way because the spirit the spirit got us like that, man. We a whole new creature, same body, whole new spirit. That's what that's what we the spirit got that's that's the that's the change of believing. You know? That's what the spirit does, man. Put you in a whole new mindset, mentality, you know. Verse 55. That's why people may call you weird, different. Man, you changed on us, man. You know? You, <laughs> that is what it is, man. This is verse 55. Thy life has thou ordered in wisdom and has called understanding thy mother. Mm. That's the personification in the scriptures. Because our woman pertaining to Proverbs 7 and 4, our, our wisdom is our woman. You know, that's our first woman, man, Sophia. Verse 56, and therefore have I showed thee the treasures of the highest. After after other three days, I will speak other things unto thee and declare unto thee mighty and wondrous things. Then will I, then, then went I forth in the field, giving praise and thanks greatly unto the Most High because of his wonders which he did in time. And it's a wonder for us to even believe in this thing right as we speak. That's why you gotta, hey, we pray, we give thanks, and we give thanks uh, to Wadi Yah to the Most High and the Son. Okay? For us to even be in this, bishop, this position we in now. Okay? Because, he, hey, that's his, he's the Father of mercies, man. He's the Father of mercies. That's, and that's mercy. You receiving this thing, having a chance to be part of that elect, that's, that's mercy right there, bro. All right, this is Mark chapter 6, verse 6. All right, let's go on to account. It says, he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went round about the villages teaching. Okay, because he's like, damn, y'all still don't believe after all the miracles that he's did, all the wonders that he's doing. Still don't believe, man. People still can't get it. Okay? And that's the same with these prophecies, y'all. These People like to, all these movies like to say, oh, it's almost the end of the world. People always want to say, um... <clears throat> People always want to bring up the inner world when something happened, but something is these things. What about when we when we telling you before it happens? You know, we telling you before it happens that we we truly prophesying, man. Verse seven, and he and he called unto him the twelve, the twelve disciples, and he began to send forth, send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits. That's and that's that's what we're doing right now, man. He giving we have spiritual power right now, okay. For us to, for us to uh, declare things to come before they happen. That's spiritual power over these unclean spirits, these two-thirds spirits. Verse 8, it commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, no script, no bread, no money in their purse. You got that's, and, that's, and that requires us to have faith. You know, that's us. Um, that pertains to us today with Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Take no thought of tomorrow. You know, we're not trying to prosper in this, in this world today, you know. We we taking it. We being content, you know. Uh, we being content with our daily bread. Let me get that uh, real quick. Out of Philippians chapter four verse eleven. All right, it says, "Not that I speak in respect of want, for I ha I have learned in whatsoever state I am, there were there therewith to be content. We got to count our blessings. What we got to appreciate what's in front of us. You know, we have to appreciate what's in front. That's why it's a, that's a beautiful script. Whatever state I am, man, hey, be content. The water y'all about me all you know, you ain't got no no job, no car, man. Still the water y'all about me all shot. Cause what you got, man? What you got right now? This truth. You know, that's not gonna matter in a minute. Though that thing is temporal. You know, if you ain't got no women, if you ain't got no boss to get right now, you know what I'm saying? Be hey, the water y'all about me all shot. You know, 
Cause look, you got this truth. That's what that's what that's what you really got, man. <laughs> Cause these other man, these other people and that that stuff is not gonna prosper. They don't got no faith. They don't got no vision. This is Proverbs. Let me get Proverbs chapter uh, strong strong scripture, man. Strong scripture. This is Proverbs chapter twenty nine verse eighteen. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keeps the law, happy is he. You know, and the law is truth. You know, we have the truth and, and we are happy. That's why we content with what's in, what's in front of us, man. Okay, we content, man. But these others, they don't have no vision. They don't have no faith. We have we have the tunnel vision. We see we see the kingdom, man. We see we have the faith. We had a faith that these prophets gonna come to pass. The kingdom is gonna is gonna is gonna come on earth. You know, that's the beauty of this thing, man. This thing is truly beautiful, and the spirit has us believing, as I keep saying. The spirit has us like this, man. It's nothing but the spirit. That's the, that's the only, that's the only way we can explain it. That's the best way we can explain it. You know, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter eleven verse twenty five. And how could anything have endured if it had not been thy will? Or been preserved if the, if not called by thee, see we wouldn't even be able to endure in the faith if we, if he wasn't even called by Yahweh Bashmiyah Shah if it wasn't His will. You was meant to receive the truth. You was meant to do what you're doing now. You know, for the brethren that's that's fighting a good fight of faith in this thing and that's dwelling with charity and love, that's doing this thing out of true love and doing it as a whole, teaching the doctrine in its entirety, and being humble in this thing, walking walking that uh, walk of humility. You know. We was preserved for we was preserved for this lot. We was preserved for this spot, and we and we we're not meant to abuse this world. We're not meant to abuse the gospel. And long as we and long as we endure to the end, hey, we got we, why not have faith that you already lit? You know, you've been doing you've been doing the right things. You know, uh, doing to the, to the best of your ability. You know, why not believe you? Why would not why not believe you already lit? You know, why not believe, man? This is First Corinthians chapter one. Verse 27, I already highlighted. It says, But the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and, and the Most High have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the, the things which are mighty. See, we the, we the poor of this world. We the weak thing. We could, we're considered weak. We're considered nobodies, man. The black, Spanish, Native Americans, the Hebrew, Israelites, according to the scriptures. Man, we can we see that. We can see that uh, we're considered fools. We're considered uh, bums, you know. We're considered just... Uh, Freaking, uh, we don't know what they consider us, man. Damn, uh, Black Tears group, you know, to confound the mighty, to confound them. And who's mighty right now, man? You, you damn Esau, the so-called white man. You damn CEOs of these companies. You own everything. You own everything over here, man. You own everything in this world today. The you're, the the wicked, uh, like I said, Job chapter nineteen, chapter nine, verse twenty-four. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked, you know. But we we're here with the weak things. He chosen the weak to confound the wise, and we truly rich in faith, as the scriptures say, man. We got the thing that's gonna that's gonna matter in a minute. That's gonna matter real soon. You know, it matters now, but it's really gonna it's really gonna show in a minute, okay? Cause that's the spirit. All right, this thing is not no this is not this is not the fake it's not that fake Christianity uh spirit we coming with, man. Dude, we 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 showing you. We put forth our works. You can see our works on a day to day basis, on a week to week basis. When we out there and count, okay, we put forth these videos. You put we we we're biblical scholars, man. We we're learned men, and we and we keep learning on a day to day basis. It's always more to learn, okay. All right, and the spirit has us in this position, and we appreciate the spirit. The water y'all bash me all shot for this for the truth, man. You know, for the ministry, okay, for our faith, you know. For your grace and mercy, that 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 chasaka wa wa chanka, you know. And for the favor, I'm a one, the brother and the akim, you know. Okay, the truth, I'm off. All right, hey, the water, Yahweh Bashmi Alsha. Okay, and it's your brother Shemak, and I give all the glory and infinite praise unto Yahweh Bashmi Alsha. All right, double honors to the apostle Edward's great millstone, peace, love, and safety to the whole fleet that's giving diligence, made that call it sure across four corners of the earth. All right, hey, Shalom, my wife, but ball, destruction of Babylon, man. All right, Shalom, keep the faith.